PSA Reloaded, man. It's your boy, D-Letter, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Y'all see where to follow your boy at. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that, man. Y'all see the title of this one, boy. Let's talk about it. I am leaving a Hitman Holler Spaces with about 2,000 people in there. And if you know, you know, man. Let me let me just say this off rip, but I got to play the games about this. Did I know that there was issues with these brothers? Yes, I knew about that. But that didn't come from Averb. That didn't come from Hitman. That didn't come from Gerald. That didn't come from Beasley. That came from me putting two and two together as a blogger. That came from me putting two and two together as a battle rap fan, right? And there's people out there in the culture who I'm cool with, who knows when I, when I say this, because they're going to laugh when I say this. Somebody texted me today, right? And they was like, yo, three, who, who's, it? Who, who's Verb talking about? And I said, they, they asked me, do I know what Verb is talking about? I said, no, y'all yeah, think because... I'm in the spaces with Verb. I'm going to know everything. No, I never profess to know everything. And when it's behind the scenes shit like that, I'm not privy to know that. Y'all think y'all going? Y'all think Verb is going to tell me that he has issues with Hitman Holler? You think Hitman Holler is going to tell me he got issues with A Verb? You think Gerald's going to tell me? That? They're not going to tell me that. Bro. I'm as a blogger, they're just not. You know. And I see people in this. Oh, you know, y'all be in the spaces with Verb and let Verb say anything. First of all. Y'all say that, y'all sound so dumb. And let me tell you, y'all sound dumb when y'all say that. If you're joining someone's spaces, right, and let's be verb is entertaining, no matter what you think about that, brother, it's entertaining. You, you well, I'm gonna stop everything he says, number one, and not for nothing. I think when I'm in there, I'm the one who can say that he lost battles compared to a lot of y'all that be in there, but whatever. Let's say focus three, all right, because I be seeing little subliminal shit niggas be doing. I be, I be, I be laughing in my head when niggas do it and shit, though, you know what I mean. So, am I surprised in the sense that there's been tension with A Verb and Hitman? No, I'm not surprised at all there's been tension with those brothers, man. Not surprised at all. Did I think because they they talk here and there and you know, you can you can see that the the, the 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 there's no camaraderie like there was at one time. I go back to the days of when Verb battled Hitman Verb battled Mike Hoffa an ice pack and verb is behind them and everything like that. After they battled and they went through their war and everything like that, yeah, they pieced it up. But you can tell things will never be the same again, right? Now, I'm not a fan of people doing cryptic messages like Verb did. I'm not really even a fan with, with, with Hitman Holler airing out a lot of stuff also, you know? And so I just got a text right out. <laughs> and... Everything that's being exposed and being said right now is very interesting because Verb's been talking about recordings that he's had for a while now, right? And I was saying the thing about, well, are you going to release it? Are you going to say something? Because now Verb, even Hitman Holler kind of beat you to the punch by him saying he knows that you're saying that you're talking about him. It seemed like Hitman knew for, for whatever that Verb has been throwing subliminal messages his way maybe because remember our verb did go with a, with a gang of tweets today right and you're reading it and like okay kind of i'm not i'm not <laughs> ah hitman was in his spaces man and he said a lot a lot man um where to go he said ice bill was you see went into ice took my ice pack young l how uh, ice pack was really the best out of the three he has acknowledged that um, after the Arsenal battle, him man saying things changed between Verb and him because, let's be honest, when the Midwest movement came into a full effect, Verb was the one that ushered in the Midwest movement, right? Now, Hitman was the golden boy. Hitman was the person that, for the most part, New York rocked with, with, with Hitman Holler to a large degree because Hitman really wasn't doing the FNY thing too much, right? But I still rock with Verb, even though he said F New York, I still rocked with him. I still thought he's a dope battle rapper. You feel me? But he did say Verb was not in attendance for the Arsenal battle, the biggest battle of his life. And if some of y'all don't remember that, don't that's when that's when this shit was like real. Like Hitman and Arsenal back and forth and the shit they did on social media and the blogs and everything like that. Fam, that shit was realer than real. Now, Verb, here's the thing. 
I know you's in, I know you's in the spaces on the low, probably listening to the thing. And it is what it is, bro, at this point. Now, people are going to want to see what you're going to say because you, you're the loudest, respectfully. You're the loudest, and you're the one that's saying that you have incriminating message, incriminating audio, I guess. And, and now, it, you obviously talking about Hitman because Hitman's even saying that he knows what you're talking about in there, right? So... What are you going to say in your next spaces? I'm like, are you going to do a space right now? I'm surprised Verbi not saying anything, to be honest. Um, but I know, I don't think you expect the hitman to go in his bag, you know? And so he never touched um, on a lot of Averb situations that, that happened back in the day. Hitman made it sound like, you know what? For the love of St. Louis, I try to keep it cordial in front of the culture, but behind the scenes, I'm feeling a different way about Verb because accor according to Hitman Holler Verb, there's some stuff that you did that he that, that might not have been righteous to him in his eyes. Right? Um said Verb was oh, he said Verb saying ARP Hitman can't get paid more than me in a main event battle. Now that right there and, and Verb, I don't know if you're going to address everything that Hitman Holler said, because the man said a lot in over an hour, right? But that's one thing I would love to see his take on that when he said ARP, you know. Now, did Hitman say a lot? Did Hitman say too much? He let too much out the bag? Why couldn't these dudes... I know some people are going to say, why couldn't they get go behind the scenes and have a conversation? According to Hitman, he tried to reach out to Verb a while ago, and Verb would pick up his phone. And sometimes, you know... Things ain't always what it seems when it's, when it's in your face, man. Things can be a illusion, so to speak, in this battle rap culture, man. It really can. You know what I mean? Um, it man has been in touch with Beasley also for the battle. So it seemed like there was conversations heavy going on about a potential Hitman Holler Murder Mook battle. And Gerald came into the fold. And the thing about Gerald, man, the thing I know about G, I know G doesn't like all this that's going on. I know he don't like this. I know you Midwest niggas don't like the back and forth. All oh, the Midwest niggas, the first the fat boys break up. Y'all trying to throw them songs out there. And you know, why couldn't they call by and see what well, they, they didn't, my niggas? They, they, these niggas they, they they didn't do that. Right? Um but it seemed like there was motion for Hitman and um, Murder Mook to happen on URL. And Beasley and Hitman were in conversations. It's funny, though, because Smack just went on Uppercut Podcast and said, and that's what I'm saying, all of y'all be done. And I understand y'all trying to keep this on the low, on the hush-hush to surprise the culture. I get it. But I was happy to hear that Hitman and Beasley were in conversations and stuff like that. Right? And hey, man, respectfully, that was not, that was, I know you might think that was on a low <laughs> that that you and Beasley were talking, but whatever. But yeah, that's, that was supposed to happen. Now, a sponsor, I guess, from how him man is saying, from my notes here, that Beasley, that, excuse me, Gerald was going to be the sponsor, and that there was a hold up for a little bit, I'm paraphrasing right now, and B, Hitman called... Gerald for 20 stacks to start writing. Like, and listen, hey man, let you know. Kind of hard to get motivated if you're not putting that dollar dollar bills in my bank account for me to get these to get this these bars off. Right? So it sounded like Gerald was willing to give Hitman the 20k to get it to, you know, to get it right. But then Hitman went on the spaces and said he never spoke to Beasley. So I guess Gerald heard that, throws Gerald off, then they get on a three-way conversation where all these cats are talking behind the scenes about trying to get the battle right. And is this, I guess this is when um now I I, I remember the infamous speech that Hitman is talking about when he said Verb has said, um, I'm controlling the money now. I, I never understood what Verb was saying that. I'm controlling the money now, but this is what Hitman is saying, the reason why Verb said that. I was actually in that space in the day Verb said I'm controlling the money, but I didn't really know what he's talking about because of the scripting messages and he's not saying nothing and stuff and things of that nature. 
And some of y'all want people to hate Verb. I'm not. I'm not gonna hate Verb or Hitman. I have no dog in this. In this. In this. Regardless, if I'm if I'm in the spaces one with Verb and the Hitman, I'm gonna call it how I see it. You know, I'm the one that's gonna tell niggas they lost a battle. I'm the one that A Verb just got at me the other day saying Hitman. Do you let a man went on his show saying telling me and Jones? But they never talk about when I say shit like that. Whatever, cool. Um, but they sound like there was an agreement, man. We hit man about not saying nothing. And, you know, Gerald was going to book the battle. And I guess Verb said something to Gerald about not sending bread to hit man. According to hit man holler, you know, there was a marketing plan. And Verb, you got to understand something. Unless you say something, sir, and retort some of this stuff hit man saying to the general public is going to look like you had issues with your little bro. You had issues with little bro shining. That's how it's going to look to some people, Verb. Especially some people, Verb, who who want to find a reason already not to like you already because you're so loud and brash. So they're trying to find... And I see niggas in the spaces, they, they, they looking for any reason for that. So your next spaces, Verb, and what you say about this situation, sir, is going to be very, very interesting. Right? Because if he tell, he, he managed to say he tell ARP, basically back in the, and then he went into it, about, I think it was 2018, saying that, you know, I'm the main event and, you know, he should, Hitman should not be getting paid more than me. And then, um, Verb co-signing the, the, the situation about, yeah, I'm the main event, so I should be getting paid more. So, to Hitman Holler, he said, he basically said he hasn't rocked with A-Verb for a while. Even when they had the St. Louis and against the mid and, and on, on Max Out, the camaraderie wasn't there. And I've always felt the camaraderie with them has been off since from back in the day. It's not been the same. It's not, it hasn't been the same at all. You know? So then, um, then going to $200,000, Hitman is talking about that he's losing out on that. And the Hitman said, for bags and bodies, he stepped to Averb to. For Verb and Bill collected a battle on bags and bodies. He offered A Verb 10K. A Verb turned it down, I guess. Then Charlie Clips coming to the fold. Charlie Clips said, um, yes, I'll take the 10K. You don't gotta give me 20K for the battle. And hey man is trying to make it sound like, well, if you're my bro and Charlie Clips get more views than you, but he's still taking the, he's still willing to take the battle for ten for ten stacks. But you you don't got no views like that. You my man's, you know, it's yo dogs. Pumbaras Clyde. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Listen, there's three sides to the story. Joe Buddy had a song called Three Sides to the Story. So, you know. Oh, man. Here's the thing now, man. Is people going to switch off the Sirius Jones now because all this stuff being out there? Is, is Sirius Jones sitting in the cut? Writing fresh new material with new angles now. Let's call it what it is, son. If you think he's not, he is, bro. He is. You know? Oh, it's so 7,000 people is the same. My bad. They had 7,000 people in there. Mm. I don't know how we got here, bro, but... A lot of y'all niggas was in the spaces. A lot of y'all bad rappers trying to be on a low. Conspicuous. You ain't want to show that in the spaces. You niggas is not low, boy. Uh, a lot of... Yo, this is about... You know what all this is about at the end of the day, though? Egos and money. I'm going to say it again. Egos and money. Like Saigon said it, and I'm going to say it again. Most of y'all niggas is slaves to y'all egos, man. Most of y'all niggas is slaves to y'all egos, bro. Somebody say, so Verb and Moot just jealous and envy Hitman Holler. This is the same thing he said about Calico a few years ago. Cal, Verb, Moot all said something behind his back because they're jealous of success. These are all unbothered men. He didn't say, wait a minute. He didn't say that about Gerald, because Gerald can buy his life and sell it to Jesus. Oh, no, boy. Yeah, I ain't gonna stand on my man, Gerald. Gerald do a lot for the culture. He, he tried to make this shit right, so I ain't gonna 
They ain't never gonna see me joke back, go back and forth with my battle rap. Mm -hmm. I'm just seeing what the coach is saying. I hope Hitman and Verb are able to fix that behind the scenes, man. We want to see two legs on bad terms like this. Um, I think when you go in this bag, fam, with egos again, I see the tweet right now. When when you when you go when Hitman just did right there, bro. He, they, I mean, how do you go back to say I don't fuck with a nigga, and then be then y'all don't make up after this? I, I don't even see how it's gonna happen. I just got an important text from somebody. <laughs> oh man, I wish I could read it. God, I wish I could read it. But I'm not gonna do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not gonna do it, man. I'm not gonna do it. Mm mm. He's doing spaces about verb now. Listen, man, it's gonna be very interesting to see what Averb is gonna say about all this. It's going to be very interesting. Is somebody going to play middleman and try to get these brothers on the same accord? I think it's going to be tough to do that. It's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. Shit is crazy, bro. This is crazy. I mean, he's got an STL hat with emoji sign. That's crazy. Y'all niggas is wild, boy. Mm -hmm. God, I wish I could get this. I hope I can get this dude on my show. Just text me. I would love to get on my show, man. Would love to get this guy on my show. Y'all right, leave comments on the bottom, man. Tell me what y'all think, man. I'm pretty sure for the most part, the coach is going to be ready to see what Avery got to say. You know? I just don't be standing with niggas. They was like, oh, ask niggas. I don't know what y'all want niggas to ask niggas. Niggas ain't say nothing. <laughs> if I get any, I got a lot of questions, number one. A whole lot. It's your boy three, man. One.